Hello. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of the mean of a random variable that is part of a Dirichlet distribution. Dirichlet distribution, Dirichlet distribution is a distribution of a multinomial, multinomial random. So, given the distribution Dirichlet of mu given alpha is equal to gamma of the summation of alpha k divided by the product k equal to 1 to m gamma of alpha k and the product k equal to 1 to m mu k power alpha k minus 1 where the summation k equal to 1 to m mu k is equal to 1. So, this is the Dirichlet distribution. Our goal is to find the mean of a random variable mu i which is part of this random vector mu. So, mu basically consists of mu 1 up to mu m this is a random vector. Our goal is to find the mean of one of the components. The mean is defined as mu i is equal to integral mu i probability the, the basically the probability is a the probability is a marginal probability of mu i d mu i but this marginal probability is actually an integration over the entire joint probability given by this distribution so this can be rewritten as the coefficient the normalizing coefficient summation of the gamma function of the summation divided by the product of the gamma functions and then we have this integral mu i times the product that is k equal to 1 to m mu k alpha k minus 1 d mu 1 up to d mu m. So, the So, basically this integral is a rearranged form of the Dirichlet distribution with one of the alpha i's equal to alpha i plus 1 basically. We can rewrite it as the product k equal to 1 to m with k not equal to i mu k alpha k minus 1 multiplied by mu i power alpha i minus plus 1 minus 1 basically by using this mu i and then we have the mu 1 to mu m. So, now this one looks like a new Dirichlet distribution with a with a normalizing constant replacing alpha i in the summation and the product with alpha i plus 1. So, we basically have gamma function of alpha k summation of alpha k is divided by the product of the gamma functions gamma of alpha k multiplied by the product k equal to 1 to m gamma of alpha k where k is not equal to i and then we have gamma of alpha i plus 1. The denominator is gamma of summation of alpha k plus 1. Since basically we replaced alpha i with alpha i plus 1. So, this is the new normalizing coefficient for this Dirichlet distribution. So, if you rearrange by simple man, uh, algebraic manipulations and using the now by using the relation gamma of x plus 1 is equal to x times gamma of x we have expected value of mu i equals the summation the gamma of the summation alpha k divided by the product of gamma of alpha k k equal to 1 to m and the product k equal to 1 to m gamma of alpha k k naught equal to i and then we also have alpha k times uh, then we have alpha i times gamma alpha i divided by the summation alpha k k equal to 1 to m gamma of the summation k equal to 1 to m alpha k. So, now we can cancel out all the gamma functions and we are left with the expected value of mu i is equal to alpha i 
divided by the summation alpha k k equal to 1 to m so by for example for m equal to 2 we can easily verify that expected value of mu is equal to alpha 1 divided by alpha 1 plus alpha 2 which is nothing but the mean value of a beta distribution and this is confirmed by the fact that for m equal to 2 Dirichlet distribution becomes a beta distribution or in other words beta distribution is a special case of the Dirichlet distribution. Thanks for watching.